Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so I thought I would do a quick little video here on a Onan 5500 watt generator set that uh, has caused a bit of confusion, I guess. I don't know if, the, if it's widespread confusion or not, but um, I had to, I had to put a stator and rotor in this here because the stator was burnt out in this one here. Let's see if it's the right way up in this crate. Just give me a minute here. So there you can see the stator was burnt was burnt out and Onan now sells for this year and model of generator they sell it as a stator and rotor combo and there's the part number right there that you need I'll put this in the description as well A053T727 and it shows up as a as a set and then the next uh, the next issue that you run into is the bolts that hold the brush cap on because the new stator and rotor that come in the profile of them they are actually like a half an inch shorter so you need to order these four bolts which took a little bit of figuring out to do so the uh, part number for those is right there um, 0815-0927-02 and you would need four of those so I guess just a quick overview of how you would uh, Sorry, I'm doing this camera thing by myself right now, so there's going to be a lot of moving around. So there's your generator base. There's the generator model number. The 5.5 HGJAE Spec C. So there's your base. So when you're going to take all of this apart there's a tin plate right there that's underneath you here there goes all my springs take it off all the way down those bolts there now before i lose my springs i'm gonna go pick them up <laughs> So then what you have, oh, sorry I'm not paying attention, you have a big spring there and then you have the second big spring over here and then through those big springs are these bolts and those bolts once you get the top off the generator you can see these. One is mounted there so you can get an idea. That's the back of the generator you're looking at right now. And then the other one is right there. So you have to remove, so all this stuff is sitting in front there. That's your starter, start switch, your breaker, your hour meter and all that. So you would take all of that off. And then you would find that right there. Once you remove those two bolts, you have to disconnect your fuel line up here, as your fuel pump is mounted up under here. Disconnect your fuel pump wires, 
and then your main power wire which is going out to the transfer switch or wherever you might have it and you have to disconnect those from the back of the breaker and then the whole generator lifts off and you get this here then once you get that far you tip the generator up on its side and then you remove these bolts all the way around here in this plastic pan which this is all this stuff is all for is for the air cool air cooled portion of it here that allows the air because there's a big fan underneath of it here which is in here attached to the bottom of the rotor with a pulley and it draws air up through and cools and it cools everything so once you get that off of there there's a belt tensioner in there and a pulley with a nut with a nut with a bolt going through the pulley you take the pulley off and the cooling fan comes off well there's three screws into the cooling fan uh, just give me a minute here maybe i can maybe i can tip this up Okay, so there's three bolts in there and then your center bolt. So once you remove that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And there are short and long ones, so pay attention to as they're coming out, please. Once you have that off, this plastic base comes off, which then you can remove this cooling, this cooling vein here. And then you pull those three bolts out there that one that one and that one this comes off and there's a metal plate behind that, that comes off take that center bolt out and then you need a flat puller plate remove the tension off of the uh, off the belt put the puller plate on pull the pulley off of the uh, rotor and then the rotor is just sitting in with an o-ring that's for friction on uh, Inside there, I had to heat the uh, casting up a little bit just to allow it to come out. So you may have to heat it up a little bit to get it out. Pull that off, and once that's off, once you have the pulley off and that, then you pull the rotor out, and then you can slide the new rotor in. And when the order... When you order the new uh, rotor and everything, the rotor and stator it comes with bearings and the whole ball of wax. And then you get it down and in there. Pull this off. Right. So you have all this out of the way. And then you'll have all of your wires. You'll have one, two, three, four, six wires. So you have your two battery wires that go back here to connect there. You have your two ground wires on the eyelet right there. And then your other wires, which come forward up to here, T4 and T1. And then you have your CB1 line, which is connected to T1. So there, and that's connected to the one side of your breaker. And then when you finally put this back on the base, these are the other two wires here that'll connect to the other side of the breaker. So that, that was the, uh, the confusion that I found. It was, I found that I got this rotor and stator. I found it was not as big as the original. And then nobody could tell me about the bolts and that. And after an hour on the phone with Cummins, I finally got it figured out. And then your brushes go in here. And then your new brush wires, which... So there's your brush wires connected up here. 
So there you go. If you want, uh, if everybody wants a better, uh, kind of a better breakdown of how this stuff comes apart, let me know and I'll do some, uh, I'll do a better video kind of on the diagnosis of how I tested that stator and that rotor for, uh, to make sure they were good and checking continuity and, and that so that I knew that it was that stator before I pulled it off, before I found those burn marks. The burn marks just confirmed that it was, it was buggered up. So yeah, if you guys want videos like this uh, or want something better, comment. Uh, let me know and I can uh, try and line something up for next time. Get a generator in here and uh, I can tear one down and do it step by step and do it in a few parts so that each part doesn't get too long. But in this one right here, this is just to kind of go over the, the parts needed and stuff like that to uh, replace if you're putting a new stator and rotor in uh, one of these generators and those are the part numbers that you are going to need for this model always call those guys and double check with them so all right all right thanks for watching